Geeky Spree time again. Let's do it. Welcome back, family and friends. It's been a lot of while since I had a Geeky Spree, but I got some Geeky Sprees lined up for this month, so we're going to start off with a little guy you might see behind me. That little guy right there. Right there. That little Predator Loot Crate Titan figure. I thought he was fantastic. He's like the little large size Predator. Came in last month's Loot Crate. Um, the March Loot Crate. For the Versus theme. So I got another one here. Can you guess which one that is? You had a chance to get a Xenomorph, Alien, or Predator. And I couldn't let my Predator be lonely up there. So I tracked me down one on eBay. And I gotta say, I got a great deal on this guy. I think I only paid like seven bucks for him with shipping. So that's amazing. But there you go, there's your Xenomorph. He has this great scarring on top of his head that glows in the dark. Look at that. Look at that guy. He's just great. And when these Titan minifigures come out, I'm going to have to get my hands on these Predator vs. Alien Titan figures. Just great. Great, 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 great. Put him back here with old Corey, the Predator. And moving right along here, what else do I have to show off? Ah. Yes. I've got, let's see, amazing t-shirt I ordered from um, Fright Rags. They had a great little discount sale going on, and they had me a promo code, so I was like, yeah, I'm going to get me one of these Fright Rag t-shirts because they always have the most amazing designs. And this one in particular, it's pretty damn awesome. Get that little flyer out there. First, I got the little gift that comes with it. Free prize inside. Let's see what we have here. It's just like a little card, like a horror related card. And a sticker and a... What we got? A blue raspberry, stream sour, warhead. Ooh. We are all animals, my lady. There's a card from legend right there oh lord darkness it's one of my favorite favorite films right there legend because tim curry he's just amazing as lord darkness and let's see a fright film fact that's what it says at one point tim curry was so frustrated and impatient with the complex face makeup that he had he that he removed it too quickly and tore off some of his own face so that yeah, the makeup he had on was pretty elaborate for old Lord Darkness. He apparently got fed up with it and tore his own face off. Some of his face. And I got a sticker. Jurassic Park. That'll make a neat magnet for my fridge or later. Now on to the t-shirt designs. That's what y'all want to see. Now this is uh, horror related, but, but it's based off a... Uh, a Todd McFarlane uh, series, Spider-Man series from the, I believe it's the late 90s. And I have this cover comic somewhere, and it depicts Venom standing over top of Spider-Man. They just had a battle, and I'll put that picture in right here. Check out that t-shirt design. Isn't that awesome? Look at that. Instead of Venom and Spider-Man, you got Jason standing over top of Freddy right there. Just an amazing, amazing, it's an amazing design. I love it because Todd McFarlane's work was so detailed. And they even went, the people who ever did this went as far as to do a little mock-up of McFarlane's little signature there paying homage to his style i love mcfarland's work it's so detailed and i drew a number of pieces myself and they really 
really in the style he does. So I want to put this shirt on right now. Ah, uh, yeah. How's that look? Great design. Love it. Bright Rags has the most amazing designs. The price is a little pricey for the t-shirts, but if you can get a good deal on one, jump on it and do it. I'm moving right along here. I'm trying to make my geeky spree shorter nowadays. I grabbed me a Funko Pop the other day of the Pop Heroes Swamp Thing number 82 from Boom, there you go. But this is the previous exclusive Flock Swamp Thing. So he's so fuzzy. So I'm gonna open him up real quick so y'all can see. Swamp Thing is one of my favorite DC comic superheroes. And there we go. I don't know if y'all want to catch the details, how fuzzy he is. But as you can see, he's got vines and roots. and Really getting into these little flocked uh, Funko Pops. Because my girlfriend got the flocked Cheshire Cat. And I think the other weekend we picked up the flocked, uh, what was it, the Stitch from Disney. But this guy, he's got his little red eyes, and he's all fuzzy. I don't. I'm. Only complaint with this Funko Pop is, you see how they got the brown roots going all over his body, but when you turn him around, it's like they just stop. There's no detail on the back of this guy. No brown on the back. Why didn't they follow through? Put the brown all down through his back and stuff. But he's pretty cool, and he's fuzzy, and I would rub him, and he's love him. I rub him and love him. He was a great, great little buy. Good little deal on him too. Didn't overpay. It was just right. I believe I ordered him from a muck time. If y'all want to check that site out, it has great stuff. Y'all don't want to see me put him back, but there he is. He's back in his little cage for now. So I have here. Oh, I went to Spencer's. Y'all know Spencer's Gifts, that uh, store that sells a lot of the novelty stuff. And they had an amazing uh, clearance section. I was digging through there. And they had a great little Marvel uh, glassware set. And as you can see right here, it says $30, but it's marked down to $9.99. And look at this set I got here. We got Ghost Rider, Venom, Deadpool, Punisher, all the anti-heroes. So these were $9.99. Give you a quick rundown on them. Ghost Rider. Lights are going to kill the effect because it's like a metallic print on here. I love this Venom one, man. Look at that. Deadpool. I'm gonna drink my whiskey mixed up Coca-Cola drinks with this glass. <laughs> Jack and Cokes. I ain't had one of those in a while. Need to bust out the old Jack. But my girlfriend pointed these out. She said, they're amazing. Why don't you get those? And I'm like, yeah, you know I love some geeky glasses and stuff. So they were $9.97 on clearance for a set. That wasn't that bad. But when I took it up front, the lady at the register, she said, uh, when you buy a clearance item, you can get another clearance item, no matter what price it is, for a dollar. And I'm like, are you sure about that? So I went back over there, and I grabbed another set. And these are, like, uh, Golden Age DC Comics. Kind of like, you know, vintage Batman and DC characters. And it was actually $9.97 again, but it only cost a dollar. So for 10 bucks, I got both of these sets. So here you go, you got one with the old vintage style Batman uh, bat suits on it and things like that. I like that one with the big ears. Got another Batman and Robin glass here. We got Joker there laughing at him. Great set. Another vintage Golden Age Flash. This one's red. I like the red glass. It's pretty cool. And 
another one was just like a mishmash collage of all kinds of vintage DC stuff on it. I believe you got Wonder Woman on there somewhere. Catwoman. That's a cool one too. Well, that just some cool glass wet sets to put with all my other geeky crazy glasses I got around here. Okay, moving right along to the DVD portion. All right, I grabbed some Blu-rays. Well, actually, I just all Blu-rays. I don't have any DVDs. I got the double pack of Grindhouse on Blu-ray. You know, Planet Terror and and Death Proof, which is a great Quentin Tarantino set. I saw this in the theater and they had the double feature and it was pretty neat. They had the little intermission and everything. Actually, on two separate discs, which I like that. Actually, no, I got that wrong. You got Planet Terror and Death Proof on one disc, and you got your special features. And then you got, I like you take the discs out. They got a little insert there of like all kinds of stuff going on. So that's pretty cool. Like a like a collage of old grindhouse posters on the background. Picked up this one of my favorite comic book to film movies. The Crow on Blu-ray. Had to have it. It's just beautiful. Brandon Lee. He definitely was taken from us way too early. This movie right here. Define a moment in his career. I like some of his earlier films as well. Like Rapid Fire is amazing if you want to see some. Rapid Fire is a film Brandon Lee did before he did The Crow and actually showcases his fighting skills amazingly. Rapid Fire, go see it. But The Crow is definitely the main film he is known for. So I had to grab that on Blu ray. I grabbed the Nightmare on Elm Street bot set collection on Blu ray. This is the only way to get Nightmare on Elm Street on Blu ray. It's got all seven Nightmare films. The only one that's not in this set is Freddy vs. Jason on Blu-ray. So, you gotta pick that up later on Blu-ray. But I do have it on DVD. The only thing I like about this Blu-ray set is uh, disc one. Let's see. Okay, disc one has uh, Nightmare on Elm Street. Disc two has Nightmare on Elm Street 2. Freddy's Revenge, and then Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors. All on the same disc. I'm not too happy about it, but it's alright. It's still Blu-ray. It still looks a lot better than any Blu-ray transfer, I mean, DVD transfer of the film. Then disc 3 has Nightmare on Elm Street 4, The Dream Master, and Nightmare on Elm Street 5, The Dream Child, both on one disc. And then you got the next disc, disc 4 here. You have Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare and Wes Craven's New Nightmare on that disc. And then the last disc, disc five of the set, is all the special features, and I believe they got like the three hour, let me see if I get it right. The, yes, they got the three hours worth of special features, which is a retrospective, Fear Himself, The Life and Crimes of Freddy Cougar. And it has two episodes of Freddy's Nightmare, the TV series, that's pretty cool. I remember seeing that show, show on TV. So I wanted to, been wanting this set for a while. Picked it up. It's the Nightmare on Elm Street Blu-ray collection. Like I said, I got to get uh, Jason vs. Freddy on Blu-ray one day. And I picked up this set right here. It's the Universal Monsters, the Essentials collection. And this is the European release, but it does play in American. It's a Region A, and it does play in your American players. And it comes with all eight classic original films in high definition. And this is just a wonderful set. I had to have it. Love me some Universal Monsters. Look at all the stuff you get in the set right there. Give you a quick rundown of it. First of all, you get this little booklet. Universals. The original House of Horror. Universal and a Monster Legacy booklet. It's just a quick booklet here. Tells you about each film. Little synopsis about Warner Brothers, Legacy of Horror, and 
it tells you a little bit about Universal Studios. Tells you a little bit about each film. Dracula. Talks about Bella Lugosi a little bit. He was just so famous back then. You got to write up about all the movies. And then this set, of course, there is. Everybody knows. Dracula. The 1931 original Dracula film. You have Frankenstein, the 1931 original Frankenstein. The Mummy, the 1932 film. The Invisible Man, a 1933 film. The Bride of Frankenstein, the 1935 film. The Wolfman, 1941 film. Phantom of the Opera, 1943 film. And The Creature from the Black Lagoon, 1954, which is my favorite Universal Movie Monsters, Creature from the Black Lagoon. It's got all these vintage style stuff in here. Lon Chaney write up about his life. And all the actors famous for doing all these Universal films. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Yeah. Movie trivia. I can't say this guy's name that played the, the, the Gill Man, you know, the creature. Rico Browning, who was the Gill Man from the underwater scenes in the film was required to hold his breath up to four minutes at a time wow did she does underwater scenes that's amazing universal creature from the black lagoon in 3d which they also have a 3d transfer blu-ray transfer of the film on here and there's the monster legacy they give you a quick filmography rundown of every universal monster film made by universal studios starting in 19 25 with Phantom of the Opera all the way down to 1956, The Creature Walks Among Us, which is the very last Creature from the Black Lagoon film, which I haven't seen. I need to see that one. All right, it comes with these cool little postcards, too. Look at that. It's beautiful. I'm going to hold them up here and just go through them. Creature from the Black Lagoon. Dracula. They're nice high gloss prints too. Frankenstein, Phantom of the Opera, Bride of Frankenstein, Invisible Man, The Mummy, The Wolf Man, Lon Chaney, and back at the Creature from the Black Lagoon, which I like to put all these in like a big frame and put hang them up on a wall. That'd be cool. All right, now onto the set itself right here. When you pull it out, you got a nice image of who is that? That's the mummy right there. Lon Chaney, I believe, or Boris Karloff. Sorry. Nice image of Frankenstein on the side. What do you got? There you go, you got your Invisible Man. Dracula holding his, the maiden there. That he's haunting the whole film. Alrighty. Losing it, about to lose it. The only thing about these European released Blu-rays is they have a lot of stuff on the disc, man. Look at that. You got old Frankenstein there. Dracula on this one. This has all these icons and things on there. I like that right there. You got a creature, a picture, a nice picture of the Bride of Frankenstein. Isn't she beautiful? Love that hair. You got your mummy Blu-ray disc. Visible Man. A nice picture of Lon Chaney there as a wolf man. Chasing after his woman in the film. Bride of Frankenstein disc, Wolfman disc, another nice image of the Phantom of the Opera, black and white. I love these black and white pictures. Aren't they just wonderful? Phantom of the Opera, and Creature from the Black Lagoon, which also has a 3D transfer version of the 
original Creature from the Black Lagoon on it. And there's the Gill Man himself swimming. Which is a nice, nice images on here. Look at that. Really nice images. Show you the back again real quick. And then that'll be an end of this geeky spree. Just a beautiful set. Had to have it. And my suggestion to any of you guys, if y'all want this set, instead of going on eBay or wherever you want to order it from, it's the Universal Monsters, the Essentials Collection. Instead of ordering the American release, get this uh, release right here because it is, I want to say it was a quarter of the price of the American version. Like, I think I paid 30 bucks for this. And the American version is like 80. It's, it's just absurd. And it's the exact same films. I think uh, the American version has a different soundtrack or something on, on uh, one of the films. I can't remember which one it is. I want to say it's The Mummy has a different soundtrack to it or something. But other than that, it's different. Everything is exactly the same. Just is just a beautiful set. Had to have it. Now I don't have to worry about it ever buying any more, except for the sequel films of the Creature from the Black Lagoon on Blu-ray. I want those one day. But there you go, Universal Monsters Essentials Collection. Just a wonderful set. Had to have it. Take care, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me on this geeky spree. Come back, visit me again sometime. Take care. Bye.